videos and news that the wife of the vice president of Ghana, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, that's Samira Baumia, has sadly involved in a fatal accident. Yes, that's the video you just watched of her vehicle and another or other vehicles involved in the ghastly accident. Even though she was unharmed, it's unfortunate that one of her bodyguards well, um, sadly passed away during the fatal accident. Now, in um, vid, sorry, that's his picture on the screen at the moment, and Ghanaians are mourning him. So, when the video and then news about Samira's um, unfortunate accident hit the internet, there has been mixed feelings among Ghanaians now. Whilst others are rejoicing, or sorry, whilst others are mourning and then sympathizing with the family of the disease and then um, rejoicing that the first lady was unharmed, others are kind of happy that she was involved in this ghastly accident. Yes, you heard me right. Others are very, others are very, very happy. According to them, the, you know, a couple of years ago, some years back, her husband revealed that he would choose um, the Ghana card over several interchanges or good roads. That's what. The so the video you just watched has triggered a lot of emotions on social media. And according to some Ghanaians, they are very, very happy that Samira Baumia was involved in the accident. So if you don't know, Samira, Samira Baumia was coming back from Bonre in the Ashanti region. After she went there to, when you hear Bonre, we all know it's about Kente. Yeah, we all know Bonre is about Kente. Bonre, Kente, and then, I'm, I'm sure you've heard that song before. So Bonre is about our precious Kente, um, a cloth from the Ashanti region. So she went to the Bonre in the Ashanti region about this whole Kente something. There was, I think there was a festival or something, commissioning about something that she went to. And not only here, we have the likes of um, Sewa Ami here and then her sister. And then we have um, Efua Asantua Edienum, the lady who just um, completed the Guinness World Record for the Singaton. She was also present. However, according to people, when um, Samira Baumia and her convoy were on the road to Accra, from Accra, um, Kumasi to Accra, I'm wondering why they didn't take a plane. But when they were in their convoy from Kumasi to Accra, they were speeding. It wasn't small speeding. They were really, really speeding on the road. So a lot of people who claim they saw them claim they are not surprised that this happened because the speeding and stuff, they were just overtaking people on the road. It, sorry, it's alleged. I, it's not confirmed. This is from people. But when the video was posted, that's, you know, the earlier video you watched in the beginning was posted, there have been a lot of comments that a lot of people are happy about um, this accident of Samira Baumia. Now, let me read a few to you. So, according to Vivi, authentic thrift store, she claims she deserves it. And now the hubby can focus on fixing bad roads. She's talking about Samira Baumia and then Baumia. She's talking about Baumia focusing on fixing bad road. Now that his wife has experienced what it's like to drive on a bad road. Then we move on to Kwabna Ofori. He said her husband chose Ghana card over fixing bad road. So it's normal. The video you watched earlier, this is what I was talking about, about Baumia choosing Ghana card. So Jerry Bodmas claims our prayers are working. Anybody guilty of spending Ghana's taxpayers' money anyhow go feel them this year. Oh, fuck, she, did she survive? Now, from any, um, from the comments, I can see we Ghanaians are so angry at this government. Samira Baumia vehicle, and so what? She and her husband knows the road are no good. Another one claims, Samira Baumia vehicle, and so what? Okay, the one I was reading earlier. The bad road says, her husband said Ghana cards are better. Another one claims, because of politics, people don't value lives anymore. Those saying she deserves it, may your mama and papa also experience same. Why are you so heartless? Another one claims, oh, so she did not die. She didn't die. Shit. We thank God she's alive, but she should talk to her husband about the bad roads. 
Another one says, this means that the politicians must protect themselves very well. They will use themselves for sacrifice for this election, so guys. Then one claims, oh, she no die, like she for die, oh, plus in husband, or oh, them for die, you. Oh. Why are you wishing death on someone's family? This is bad. This is very bad. Another one, last one says, They've started sacrificing innocent soul for their cruel political ambitions. So, guys, there's a question I really want to ask. I'm not, I don't really believe in this thing, but do you believe that police, when it's getting to election year, politicians sometimes sacrifice, do certain sacrifices just so they can win power? And if so, why is that some people lose? Because if I'm sacrificing, you are sacrificing. Let's say we are all sacrificing humans. Why do I lose then? Is it that my malam is not powerful or what? Because for me, I think it is God that chooses. Or it is the people that decide that I want this or I want this. Especially the, flu, the um, floating voters. They really decide who should be part um, president. When I say floating voters, I mean those who are who neither belong to party a or party b but then make up their mind to just vote for anybody they want to vote for they really really if you if you look at the statistics very well they really 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 decide who the president uh, sorry the next president should be so anyway let's go back so that's the unfortunate um story of the for i'm um, sorry the vice the wife of the vice president samira baumia and at this point, I think it's high time these politicians fix our road because it seems, um, I'm not going to say there's rampant accidents because the accidents has been there and for years and for years and for years, there's been constantly, there's constantly been accidents on our roads. But it seems this time our politicians are experiencing it. And I'm, I'm not going to say I'm happy, but I'm glad it's um, the wife of the vice president that experienced that so that her husband will now know that choosing a Ghana card over good roads, it's something that Ghanaians were not happy about. So it's high time he fixes it. If he should be the president um, in 2025, we hope he, ta he takes this opportunity to fix our roads for us. So guys, this is all I have for you. Thank you for listening to Raven.